Hello everybody and welcome to Easy Freezer Meals and today we have a wonderful treat for you. We're going to be making Mexican tortilla soup. So get ready, we're going to break it up into segments and our first segment is preparing the vegetables. So if you're going to use uh, raw beans, go ahead and soak them overnight and we're going to process that obviously, you know, tomorrow in 12 to 24 hours. And very difficult decision here. We get to pick the chef knife. Just recently, I bought some chef knives from cutleryandmore.com. And I bought a Wusthof, which is what I'm using here. I bought a Shun Classic Heavy and a Yexel Go. Amazing knives. In the description box below, I'm going to put a link to each one of those knives so that you can go check them out yourselves. And know this, that if you do happen to order some cutlery from cutleryandmore.com, you get free two-day shipping with orders over 99 bucks. And so that's pretty awesome. Anyway, prepare the onions, prepare the zucchini, as the, as the recipe below will state. You're going to take your sweet corn, pop it on a cast iron skillet or a skillet with a little bit of oil and you're gonna basically cook out the water and start to caramelize the corn. You wanna be sure you don't you don't burn it because there's nothing worse than burnt corn, except burnt onion. And, but the red bell peppers you do wanna burn. And so you're gonna place the red bell peppers directly on the fire and we're gonna roast them until they turn completely black. You want them to be completely charred. You can achieve this process in the oven on high heat as well. I just find it to impart a better flavor when you do it directly over the fire. And once it's completely black, process doesn't take very long depending on your stove, but once it is literally burnt on, on every side from top to bottom and all around it, you're gonna transfer the peppers into a plastic like grocery bag and cover it up for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And this is gonna sweat and it's gonna cause that outer skin to come off really easy. Now that your corn is probably finished cooking, you can turn the fire off and clean up your peppers. And so this is about 10 minutes later. We're gonna just clean them all up and then dice them. And once we dice them, we're gonna combine our corn and red bell pepper mix and set that to the side. It's now time to cook the beans. We're gonna pressure cook that for nine minutes at 15 PSI with uh, a little bit of chicken stock in the water. And this right here is gonna produce a creamy, still firm uh, bean that is absolutely perfect with this particular soup. It is now time to prep your cilantro. And your cilantro, make sure you wash your cilantro, or in my case, culantro really well, because it tends to be gritty and dirtier than most, but just chop it up very, very fine. And now we're ready to move on to the next step. And now you wanna prepare your chicken. So we're gonna sous vide our chicken, but you can cook your chicken however you want. You can grill it, which imparts a really great flavor. You just wanna make sure you don't overcook it. You don't want dry chicken in your soup. Uh, if you wanna use a whole chicken, you can do that and shred it, it's not a problem. I like sous vide because you can control the temperature. But how you're gonna season your chicken is with a little garlic salt, pepper, some cumin, and some oregano. And it's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna cook it at 143 and a half for two hours and dice it and then set it to the side. So now it's time to cook all the vegetables and in a large pot, enough to hold all your vegetables with a little bit of oil that's been heated up, you're gonna add your onion and your zucchini and you're gonna cook both of these until the onion starts to soften where it gets a little translucent. As soon as it starts to soften, you're gonna add your chipotle powder if you're using fresh chipotle peppers, you can add that at the beginning. But uh, once you do that, you're gonna mix it up real well and you're gonna continue to cook. Add a little bit of oil if you need to. You don't want it to be dry, but your onion should release a little bit of moisture while it's cooking. And once everything is nice and soft, add your garlic. So you're gonna pop your garlic in there and we're gonna cook it for just a little bit longer. Roughly about two minutes should do it. Just make sure you stir it well and your fire should be on medium to high heat. And after about two minutes of cooking your garlic, you're gonna go ahead and add your tomatoes. And you can use canned tomatoes, you could use fresh tomatoes, it really doesn't matter. So you're gonna mix that and incorporate it real well into your soup as you continue to heat. And at this point, you're gonna add your um, tomato sauce. It doesn't matter what kind of tomato sauce you use, just make sure it's not too salty. And um, you're gonna add your chicken stock, your seasonings. You're gonna go ahead and throw in your uh, corn and your bell pepper mix. And then finally, you're gonna add your cilantro. And once you do that, you're gonna let it cook for about 45 minutes. 
After about 45 minutes, the soup should almost be done. Go ahead and add all your beans to your almost finished soup. And now we get to make the tortilla chips. You can't have tortilla soup without tortilla chips. And so take your fresh corn tortillas and cut them in half just like that. And all you wanna do is make strips out of it. So go ahead and cut strips just like I'm doing here. Uh, try to make them in, as even as possible. And these are gonna be your tortilla chips that you're gonna garnish your soup with. And you can either eat this soup fresh or you'll have it as a freezer meal. And so once you have your chips, in a pot with some oil in it. Heat the oil up to about 350 degrees. And you wanna make sure it doesn't get too high, too much higher over that. But 350 degrees is great. And go ahead and put a handful, a handful of, of chips in it. And you're going to just make sure it doesn't overflow. And so you just monitor the level as it rises. And as you fry it, wanna keep an eye on it so that it doesn't get too, too dark. But you're gonna notice they're gonna change in color uh, roughly after about two minutes, and they're gonna be nice and crispy. And all you're gonna wanna do is transfer them to a little bowl, season them with a little bit of salt while they're still warm, and toss them around. And at this point, you're good to go. You can actually store those up for later, and they'll be pretty fresh. We're gonna go ahead and package it up. How we do it may not necessarily be how you do it, but notice we don't add the chicken in with the soup and vegetable mix. We actually add the chicken to each portion so that each portion gets the exact same amount of soup and chicken. As, as we run a business, we need to make it consistent. So we put 100 grams of diced chicken in each bowl and one quart of soup and vegetables in, in each portion. But at home, you can add the chicken to the soup and you can portion it out in uh, Ziploc bags or in freezer saver bags as you wish. Make sure the soup is completely cool before you vacuum seal it. Uh, if you don't vacuum seal it, you can put it in a Ziploc bag. Just make sure that it's completely flat and there's no holes in it. But once you do that and it's sealed up, you can freeze it and when you want to reheat it, all you do is you thaw the package and you heat the soup up on your stovetop or you boil the bag for about 15 or 20 minutes. And look how beautiful it is. Garnish it with a little cheddar cheese and sour cream with your, your tortilla chips. And now you have Mexican tortilla soup. It is important to know that this is a very hearty soup. So if you want your soup to be a little thinner, feel free to add more chicken stock. And I'll write that in the recipe below so that you can have a more equally balanced soup with vegetables. But it is so wonderful and so delicious. You're going to love every single bite. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to our channel. Every week we're gonna post new videos on how to make easy freezer meals for you to prepare at home that are delicious and amazing. Do me a favor, share this video with all your friends and as always, keep it frozen.